All right. Well, while the economy is seeing pain with the markets and economy, there is one area that may be showing signs of a recovery, and that is the supply chain. Ticker.co editor Sam Rowe joins us to talk about why a possible shift in the supply crunch may be on the horizon. Sam, this is my first time bringing you in, buddy. What do you got for us today? <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's really interesting because uh, economic data continues to show growth, right? Except it might be decelerating a little bit. Uh, which is what Powell, uh, the Federal Reserve and, and Chairman Powell has been aiming for with tighter monetary policy, right? They're looking for slower growth in their effort to bring down inflation. Mm -hmm. And so we're seeing a lot of evidence or anecdotes that, that uh, we're, we're getting these kinds of uh, uh kinds of relief to, to, to the supply chains, whether it's slowing demand or actual uh, evidence that that the supply chains themselves might be loosening up. For instance, uh, just very recently, JP Morgan noted that the ports in LA, which uh, are responsible for about 40% of inbound shipping traffic, uh, have uh, are, are incredibly loose, ha haven't been this loose in, in months, as you can see from the, the chart that you have up there. Uh, Bank of America also recently did a survey of the trucking uh, truckers in the supply chain, and they've also noted that capacity availability uh, hasn't been this high in, in uh, over a year. So that's all great news, especially in the context of, of wanting inflation to come down. You know, and all of this makes some sense, especially given this last two weeks that we've gotten from the retailers, where every single one of them is talking about double digit inventory gains year over year, and that they have been sort of caught off guard, some of the big ones, of course, by a drop in demand. So it, it stands to reason then <laughs> that perhaps they're not going to be ordering as much or ordering the same kind of stuff. Yeah, it's it's a really strange uh, time to be bringing the economy right now because in some sense, a lot of the bad news that's coming from retailers about how they've overstocked with inventory and how they're also getting hit with this shift in consumer spending toward experience as, a, as opposed to goods. Uh, while this is a lot of bad news for a, a, a lot of retailers who sell stuff, uh, this is also good news when it comes to the whole inflation story because inflation has been impacted by stuff like supply chain disruptions and uh, depleted inventory. So if inventories are coming back, then suddenly, you know, all these, the, the empty store shelves are filled and maybe even further down the road, we start seeing uh, more, more items go to the clearance aisle, which uh, also further helps the inflation story. And Sam, what's the transmission mechanism and timing here? So we have these costs coming down. When do we see the shelves uh, get restocked? And also, when does this uh, finally help take those inflation numbers coming down? Because everybody wants to know when Fed Powell can, or <laughs> Chair Powell can finally blink. Sure. I mean, that, that's a great question because it's 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 hard to tell because uh, you, if, if you're a company that's selling stuff at an incredibly high price and people are paying for it, why are you going to start bringing those prices down? At some point, if demand does start to cool and if uh, like like you're talking about just uh, before I started speaking about how there are companies that are freezing hiring and uh, more companies announcing layoffs. As things start to tighten up on the demand side, then how are companies going to compete for business? And of course, an easy way to do that is to start offering deals, uh, offer promotional pricing, uh, send more stuff to the clearance aisle so that you can get people who are uh, on tighter budgets to come in. So maybe that's when um, that stuff like that starts to uh, show up in the inflation readings. But even just this morning with uh, the income and spending report, we saw that uh, core PCE price index, uh, while still high, has been going sideways for the last four months and on a year over year basis is actually coming down. So maybe it's already starting to creep into the inflation data. So I, I think uh, I don't know exactly when it happens. Maybe it's already begun, but uh, next month's inflation reports and the following month's inflation reports are going to be really interesting um, to see uh, to what degree uh, th these inventory stories that retailers are telling about are actually real and, and actually translate to cheaper pricing for, for customers. Yeah, and I'm going to continue to watch all of these various shipping indicators. I know, like, you're a chart guy, like nobody else, Sam Rowe. And so I'm curious what, on the on this... You've got some competition. On the, on the <laughs> you are a chart guy. He's, he's a, I would say, 
You're mostly like a market chart guy. Yes, he yes. is a broader chart guy. I think it's safe to say. Yes. I, go to, I go to Jared for all. I go to Jared for all of my market charts. <laughs> exactly. So, but I'm curious, Sam, what people should be watching in terms of supply chain and logistics stuff. What kind of data should we be looking at? Sure. Probably the best chart I think right now uh, at a macro level is the inventory to sales ratio. This is something that comes out from the census. Uh, department. They have two different reports that come out every month, and you know they'll mention uh, how much inventories are growing, and, and you'll hear some chatter about uh, inventory levels being significantly higher from last month or the year prior. But the ratio of inventory relative to sales is going to be really interesting because that tells you how quickly retailers and businesses are able to turn over uh, what they have in their stock rooms. Um, this measure has been coming up for a couple of months. So if, if this continues to go up, then it gives you a sense that uh, stores have a lot of stuff in the back room. So so the next time you don't see something on the sales rack, uh, you can ask that manager to go check in the back and, and the likelihood that there'll be something back there uh, will be increasing. Ooh, news you can use on that front. Thanks for the tip, Sam. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Have a great holiday weekend.